Hi, in this episode we're going to talk about email marketing. So we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to talk about what you should do and what you should try not to do and we're going to, go, we're going to see good examples and bad examples. Let's get started. Okay, so how we're going to go about this is I'm going to show you um, uh, three, of, actually four or five of them. And I'm going to start with the, uh, the great one, the good one, and why they're good and why you should do the same thing with your email marketing. And then we're going to progress into the bad one and the things to avoid at, at, at all costs. So the first one I'm going to start with is this one that you're seeing uh, in front on the, on the screen, which has come from uh, Michelle Villalobos. What I love about this is that it first it's coming from her. It's coming from Michelle Villalobos. It's not coming from her company name or anything else. It's her. And it's really important because we know that when people are looking at their emails, they're looking at the from name first. So the name is actually a decision. And you think about it psychologically. If you're seeing a company name versus a person person's name, what is the immediate reaction when you see a company name? Probably promoting something. If it's from a person's name, it could be promoting something, but it could be a personal message or it could be something else. So right off the bat, if you're putting a company name, in my opinion, you're starting the wrong way. And then the second thing that people look at, and we know before they even look at your email, is the subject line. And in this case, it says, sorry, not sorry. And it's it's the, the, the theme and the idea behind the, the the email that she's sending out and she's obviously promoting something but it has it, it actually it opens up curiosity you gotta think like what is she, what does she mean sorry not sorry and then you open up the email because obviously it came from Michelle Villalobos and uh, the, the subject line is great so you're gonna look at it and then right off the bat she starts and she starts narrating a story and I think this is really the way to go you need to start with telling a story and start instead of uh, uh, telling people I'm going to start to tell you about this or just go right in the story and there's no advertising whatsoever at the top there's no headers there's no pictures there's nothing she just goes right into it there's no hi Antoine or hello or anything like that she just goes right into it because she knows that psychologically I don't care about this stuff most people don't you just just tell me what you want um, and then as you scroll down you can see that there is actually a, uh, a link or a picture of a video and then I'll, I'll, I'll click on it and I'll show you what it actually shows uh, and then this, this is the body of her email marketing and she's actually at the end promoting something but first she delivers the value first she talks to me she gives me something she actually is giving me something that is of interest to me okay so that's the first thing is first you're giving me something that's of interest to me and then you can promote it's not okay I'm gonna promote and then if if you're willing to do that then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna tell you some more I'm gonna give you some goodies she really nailed this down um, so there she's obviously promoting the women's success summit that's uh, that's coming up but I'm gonna show you when you click on that video where you land you actually land on a page on a website and that's all it has that's the video. So she's not trying to, you know, trick you into going and looking at something that's really about promoting our event. It's really that's the video. So you can actually watch the video. And then obviously, right there on the right, there is a button to register. Um, that's what she really wants you to do is to register for an event, which is a great event in uh, in South Florida. But it's really focused on the value and the content. It's give, give, give. It's not take, take, take. Give, give, give. She's giving you value. Therefore, you're going to be interested. All right. Now, let me show you a second one, which I think is really, really great and did a good job. Oh, by the way, sorry, before I jump, what's um, really important about her email, and I've said really many times now, is that it is mobile optimized. And that is, I'm going to show you on some other emails that I looked at, which is um, not good because when they're not mobile optimized, is that as soon as I get it on my phone, and Michelle probably knows that or a crew knows that, that a lot of people are going to be reading your emails on a device like this. And if it's not compatible with this, the odds of people reading your content 
is very, very thin. A lot of people will not spend the time to trying to go do this and trying to read it. They won't. You know, it's 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 a fallacy. And it's all stacked up nice and neat. You can see the, uh, the image is right in the middle. And everything is lined up perfectly. It just works on my phone. It works on my desktop. I mean, she nailed it. This is a uh, across the board great. Next, email marketing is from Jeffrey Gittimer. Um, he is actually he has webinars and seminars teaching people how to be a better salesperson. Again, you know, look at the. It's coming from Jeffrey Gittimer. It's not coming from Gittimer seminars and whatnot. It's coming from a person. Um, and then the next thing is um, is the uh, the title. See Jeffrey live in Chicago. So. You know, there's not really a great hook there or capturing my um, capturing my interest, but it, it's it's straight to the point. It just basically it's a he's in Chicago and you can see him live there. There's either an interest there or not. So he's just getting right to the point. In the email, uh, great image of Chicago, which is really a, a great appealing image, and then it goes right into the text and it's giving you the benefits, what you will learn, the five bullet points. Um, and then it just basically gives you an offer to register your seat today. I mean, it's straight to the point. See Jeffrey Gettimer live in Chicago. So I'm either in Chicago or I'm not, or I'm going to fly over there or I'm not. It's telling you what are you going to get out of it and then an offer to register. It's straight to the point. It's perfect. And once again, it's mobile responsive. I get it on my phone and it's just all of it looks absolutely perfect. There is no... Um, issue with the formatting. So whether I get it on my desktop or I get it on my phone, this email is perfect. Now let's go to the next one. The next email is from um, a company called Brigid Bookkeeping. So we're starting to go down here where we're starting to see some errors. There's one thing that Brigid Bookkeeping is doing great. Uh, and I always tell people um, about that, that you need to be doing this. If there is one thing you need to get to do is do that is being consistent. They are extremely consistent. Their email is every week, bar none. She never miss, miss a beat. Uh, and then I give, I, I have to give her that because it's a lot of work doing email marketing and uh, I haven't seen uh, them missing an email uh, any week. So here's what I'm seeing here, and then you're starting to see the, uh, by the way, I'm sorry, I love Brigitte Bookkeeping. I think they're a great company, so I'm picking at you. I, I mean it with love. Um, you see the the uh, the thing here is that they are actually are, the, the name here, instead of being Elizabeth Manso, is actually say Brigitte Bookkeeping. I am going to say that if you actually use Elizabeth Manso, you will probably will get a better return on your delivery rate and your open rate than using Brigitte Bookkeeping. That's that's going to be my, I, I am going to say that knowing people psychologically, if they say Brigitte Bookkeeping, especially at the time of day and the day you send it, I am going to say that uh, they'll be more willing to open it if it's coming from Elizabeth than if it's coming from Bookkeeping. Here's the thing about this email. Brigitte Bookkeeping is sending this email on Sundays. Okay, so that's they've picked that day, and you know, uh, I, and I don't know. We'd have to look at their number whether it's working for them or not. Uh, but they're sending it on a Sunday, so you know, you got to think about psychologically. Do I want to read about bookkeeping on a Sunday as opposed to opening an email from Elizabeth? Uh, and then you could see that in the title, they actually got it. Selling your business, uh, selling your business. Read me first. So it just tells you really what this email is about. So I know that if I have an interest into this, I can open up that email and then read it. Now, if you get into the body of the email for Brigitte Bookkeeping, uh, here here is the issue that I see for me is this big old header. Um, I I would highly recommend that you get rid of it. Uh, I, I don't think it adds anything. I think it. Uh, um, I think it takes away. I think I have to deal with this big old giant banner first before I actually even get to the content. I think the banner is all about you. It's not about me. Uh, you're, you're not. You know. You just want to plaster your look at my big name, and I was like, well, I know it's you. And if you think about it in terms of Jeffrey Gittimer or Michelle, like they're not putting their logo right in your face and saying, look, it's me, it's me, it's me. They're like more, hey, I'm going to provide value first. Okay, so that that would be my uh, my take on it. Uh, and then the next thing in this email is that it's uh, it's a two column um, 
uh, email, which means that there is a, a little column with Elizabeth on the left, and then there's the content on the right. Now, the issue with this is that it looks great on a desktop, but it doesn't look good on a mobile phone. It just doesn't. It's just way too small, and you can, you know, it's it's difficult to read. Uh, you know, see how this really got squished to the left, and then it's like I, I have a hard time. Uh, I have a hard time reading it. So I would put this uh, small column on the left. I would put it below, and I would remove the uh, the header. Um, now, especially in your in the case of this email, uh, which is actually sent on the Sunday. So the odds of someone reading this email on a mobile device is really, really high. Now, what is great, obviously, is if you click on any of the links on our email, you actually uh, you get to go to um, the website, and the website is mobile optimized. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, website. It's very well done. It's easy to read, and uh, there's a call to action. So in that sense, she really nailed it. And by the way, if you're in a South Florida area and you need bookkeeping, you should uh, call them. Uh, they're a great company to work with. Now let's go into uh, email marketing that are what I would consider like really uh, going bad. Uh, let's uh, the first one is uh, Miami Chamber of Commerce. So first of all, again, it's the same thing. You know, Miami Chamber of Commerce as opposed to saying Jane Doe, John Doe. I mean, right off the bat, the email comes to me, and I know that it's actually coming from an organization, and it's probably about promoting something uh, instead of giving me value. So right there, I could probably would decide, okay, I'm not going to be reading this. And then the uh, subject line is new business, new business directory. It's like, how exciting. I can't wait to read this email. Um, and then you're starting to go into the body if you open it. Uh, I mean, look at this mess. I mean, a, a, a small logo here. And then there is this thing that is actually not even optimized. It's just not going into a, a first. So before I get any, any content that is really interesting to me, I have to go, uh, I guess, right here. So here is telling me to register my business for free. Uh, but it's promoting a uh, a new business directory, so I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. And then I'm scrolling down, and I'm seeing this mess. I mean, this is um, this is just really, really messy. Uh, it, it's it's it, it's it's how not to do an email marketing for for an organization. And if you click on any of the links, uh, you get this. So uh, which is a, a link uh, disabled. Uh, on the side, so it, this email was sent to me a while back. So maybe the links were um, uh, good at the time, yeah, October twenty eighth. But it's still like you know, it's less than a month ago, and the links are already uh, disabled. So that's just really not a good thing. Uh, the next one that I have that I receive uh, actually on a re on a regular basis is an email from uh the Broward Convention Center about a South Florida business expo. So look at the title free VIP tickets for two days biz to biz expo from three to eight. I mean it's just really, really long a title which is gonna be cut off in a of a lot of um a lot of uh, um email readers, especially on your phone. Uh the Greater Fort Lauderdale Broward Convention Center again it's not coming from someone um, and then if you can start to, to see it just it, it, it just looks for me like a flyer more than anything it's just not really a great uh, way to uh, lay out uh, an email um, uh, blast to send and have people register it's just you know it, it for me it's just it's messy it's a little bit sloppy it's just trying to it's trying to convert a uh, a flyer into an email piece where that's not what an email piece is. It's like you got to get into, you know, you got to look at the Gitmer. You know, it's like, okay, where, what is it? Where is it? Why should I attend? You know, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and there you have me. Okay, so this is the uh, email marketing uh, tips. I hope you got some uh, good value for it. Uh, please register. Uh, no, actually, uh, subscribe. Not the uh, not register, but subscribe below. And uh, see you next week. Thank you.